All right, so this weekend I watched Disney's The Black Cauldron. For those who don't know, The Black Cauldron is an animated movie about a young assistant pig keeper who goes on a quest to save the world from the evil Horn King, who wishes to raise an army of the dead with the powerful Black Cauldron. The movie has been buried deep in Disney's dungeons, as it almost bankrupted the House of Mouse when it was released, not even making back half of its $44 million budget. Most people agree that it's among Disney's worst works, but here's everything I liked, because there's a lot to like. First off, the Horned King is scary as hell. John Hurt does a phenomenally creepy job with the vocals, and his whole design screams pure sp spookiness. In fact, this whole movie is pretty scary for a kid's movie, making it perfect for Halloween. I also really enjoyed the Horned King's minion. His color and life really seem to pop, serving as a good foil for the Horned King while giving the movie some much needed comedy. In fact, I loved his good guy counterpart just as much, Gurgi. Gurgi can come off as a little annoying in the first few books, but I found him really sweet and lovable here. And on the note of comedy, I would be remiss if I didn't mention how Fluter Flam's harp that breaks whenever he tells a lie is definitely good for a couple of chuckles. Moving on, the art style is really charming and can change between warmth and creepiness on a dime, mastering both. I think I've just gained an appreciation for the art of traditional animation hand-drawn, having been raised in a world where computer animation dominated my childhood favorites. And I didn't expect to be saying this next one, but as someone who loved the books growing up, it was just nice to see all the characters who I loved brought to life, even if the story was cracked and smashed two books together that both would have made excellent movies. And I think that leads me into my next point, ambition. This movie has a ton of it, and you have to admire that. The Black Cauldron is trying something new, with new styles of animation, including the first use of CGI for a Disney movie. Yeah, the Black Cauldron used CGI in 1985. And just the attempt of trying to smush together two books, arguably a whole five book series into just one movie takes a lot of gall, even if it hurts my soul a little. This could have easily been a classic multi-movie series if they had played their cards right and hadn't flown too close to the sun. I would have loved to see it. Taran, the main character, also has a pretty solid character arc where he learns that just having a great sword and the ability to fight well doesn't make you a true warrior. It's really satisfying to see him eventually give up his sword and therefore his dreams in exchange for first the Black Cauldron and later his friend Gurgi. It's just a nice lesson about what a hero truly is. It's always interesting to hear about a movie with production troubles, and not many movies had it worse than this one. People were leaving the project constantly, none of the writers were really on the same page, and John Katzenberg himself ended up cutting a good 10 minutes out of the movie because he believed it was too violent, and he may have had a point about this. But the cuts left the movie confusing, rushed in places, and oddly stilted. After hearing, hearing all of this, it probably did the best possible thing for me. It lowered my expectations. I assumed that would be a total train wreck, truly worthy of its reputation as the movie that almost killed Disney, performing so badly that it almost bankrupted the House of Mouse, leading them to hide it away in their vault, only releasing it on VHS a good 13 years after its theatrical release. But it's not. It's a sweet storybook tale about a boy who yearns for more out of life who finally gets to go on a quest, only to discover that he's in way over his head and needs the help of his friends to complete his task. It's a tale as old as time, and even if it's brief, there are flashes of the ambition, particularly in its animation, and the heart that would be showcased in full later in the Disney Renaissance. I honestly believe that the Black Cauldron was a stepping stone that needed to be taken to reach these heights, to try and fail before succeeding later on. It's sad when a stepping stone is shunned because it isn't the destination, because it may be an impressive figure on its, in its own right. Thank you.